It has synth strings, a kid's choir, lyrics about losing your father. Mike and the Mechanics 1989 hit, The Living Years, would become one of the saddest songs to ever top the Hot 100. Let's go behind the song. In 1983, Mike Rutherford, guitarist for the hit band Genesis, formed his own band, Mike and the Mechanics, while Genesis' lead singer was pursuing his own solo career. You know, with songs like this, before recording their second album, Personal Tragedy Struck, Mike lost his dad. The father of co-writer B.A. Robertson also passed away just three months before his son was born. With emotions running hot, they created the song, The Living Years. This became the title track of their 1989 album and its first single. And just months after its release, the song shot to number one. Just what you would expect from a pop song about death, pain, and regret. The Living Years starts out with a simple, profound statement. Every generation blames the one before. From there, Robertson's lyrics lay out the difficulty of communicating complicated emotions. Crumpled bits of paper, filled with imperfect thought, stilted conversations, I'm afraid that's all we've got. Intensely personal, the song became an unlikely award-winning hit, in part because of its gorgeous haunting recording, in part because its themes resonated so deeply. It was a song that not only moved the needle, it moved people's hearts. Mike and the Mechanics continued to score hits in England throughout the 90s with songs like Word of Mouth and Over My Shoulder. But in America, they were basically done after the living years fell off the charts, which was another poignant reminder of the song's central meaning. Time is fleeting, so better make the most of it. What do you think of this soulful ballad? Does the song have a special meaning for you as it has for so many others? Tell us in the comments below. For American Songwriter, I'm Amanda Mertz.